Bransby. Thanks for watching Bransby TV. I'm going to dine on a 2018 Mustang today. This car came out awesome. There's a little bit of a backstory behind it. But before I show you the dyno pool and the dyno numbers, we go over all that. Check this out. And hey, don't forget, subscribe and notify. That's how you stay up to date. You might have some questions when you watch this. Leave a comment. Happy to answer. And I will always put a link in the description or links of everything that's on this car right here. So Doug is with me. Check this out. 2018 Mustang. This particular client wanted something big. Down the road, he's going to want a bunch of boosts. Not right now, but down the road. So this is a stock engine car. So basically, the car came in and we set it up for the future. So it has our big Adler radiator, all right? Cooling mods, cooler thermostat. We've got some MBRP long tube headers, DSS drive shaft, DSS half shafts. The car is gonna be sick. Now, for the supercharger, we're running the Vortec V7 JTB race supercharger. It's only about eight PSI right now. You know, you run this thing up to the moon, the boost does barely tap nine PSI. But we have Detroit injectors, Kenny Bell Booster Pump, JLT cold air intake. It's really designed for a lot of power in the future, but right now we're running 93 octane, not 85. So we need to keep the boost low. So you like this, don't forget, you can email quote at brentspeed.com and see how much is this to get installed. But right now, check this dyno pull out. Okay. Things loud that's like I said MBRP long tubes with full three inch all the way out the back tell you what if you want your car loud that'll do it right there but check these numbers out oh another thing you know, that sounded so cool on that front view video that we're running two uh, Vortec max flow blow-off valves on this Vortec re recommends running two at a higher boost big supercharger level again so since we set this car for the future they're on there now six setup but look SAE 674 rear wheel, it's a manual transmission car, 503 torque. And I'll switch this over to standard because I know so many of you guys love watching standard videos right there. It's on 93 pump gas, 692 rear wheel, 516 torque on standard. But all in all, came out really, really good. The car drives awesome and it's going to be a fun car. Should be reliable. And then down the road, when you got better fuel and you can get more aggressive on the tune, you know, maybe a better engine, that supercharger is capable of turning it way, way up. I mean, probably like 1,000 rule horsepower, I'd say, with something like that, if you have the balls to do it. So, hey, I'm Brent for Brent Speed. Thanks for watching. Again, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm happy to answer. Thanks.